Real attitude problem, McFly. You're a slacker. You remind me of your father when he went here. He was a slacker, too. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m. Number little experiment number one. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. The flux dispersal. Look out! Kid, what'd you do? Jump ship? Hey, McFly! What do you think you're doing? You got my homework finished, McFly? Uh, well, actually, I figured since it wasn't due till Monday. What? Yeah, who are you? Say! What do you let those boys push you around like that for? Well, they're bigger than me. Stand tall, boy. Have some respect for yourself. Stella! Another one of these damn kids jumped in front of my car! Well, that is your name, isn't it? Calvin Klein? Do you mind if I sit here? Marty, you look so familiar to me. Do I know your mother? Time machine. I haven't invented any time machine. Tell me, future boy, who's president of the United States in 1985? Marty, I'm sorry, but the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. Unfortunately, you never know when or where it's ever going to strike. Next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the future. I didn't take Lorraine out, that he'd melt my brain. Okay, but I don't know what to say. I'm writing this down. This is good stuff. And you're flying. How much money you got on you? Oh. All right, punk. Now. Never picked a fight in my entire life. Well, you make it sound so easy. I just, I wish I wasn't so scared. You're late for the moment the lightning strikes, which will be. Exactly! Seven minutes and twenty-two seconds! The consequences! Come in,